Yeah, thanks very much. Turning now to the Democratic runoff for Secretary of State to choose the person who will run against Brad Raffensperger in the fall. The candidates who did not make the top two all threw their support today behind D. Dawkins Hagler. The former state lawmaker faces current state representative B. Wynn, who is endorsed by Stacey Abrams. As Fox 5's political reporter Claire Sims explains now, they don't have a lot of time to win people over. With just a little more than two weeks before the runoff, both D. Dawkins Hagler and B. Wynn need to consolidate support behind their campaigns. Congratulations on being in, in the runoff, and you have my total support. Thank you so much. In a news conference at the state capitol Wednesday, D. Dawkins Hagler announced she now has the endorsements of John Eves, Floyd Griffin, and Michael Owens, the three Democrats who did not advance to the runoff for Secretary of State. We know that we we have a message for the masses. We are able to bridge together all of the forces of Georgia to make sure that everyone has access to uh, the ballot box, to free and fair elections. Dawkins Hagler finished second in the May 24th primary with nearly 19% of the vote and will face B. Wynn, who finished in first with a little more than 44%. But Wynn has earned some notable endorsements of her own, including Democratic gubernatorial candidate Stacey Abrams, well, Congressman Hank Johnson, and more than 100 elected officials from across the state. What that speaks to is this broad-based coalition that we are building in Georgia, and it requires all hands on deck. So I'm very proud of being able to build a cross-section of leaders and organizing groups who have come to the table for this race. Dawkins Hagler is a former state representative and says her background makes her the right choice. Experience matters. You cannot have uh, instructions or training wheels when you become the Secretary of State. You have to be ready on day one. But Wynn says her service in the state legislature over the last five years has been in the midst of what she described as a toxic and polarizing environment as lawmakers debated voting legislation and held hearings on the validity of the 2020 election. In those moments, I have always stood on the side of voter expansion. I have always fought against these bills, and even in the face of death threats, I have stood up and I have not shrank back. The runoff is June 21st, and whichever candidate wins will move on to face incumbent Secretary of State Republican Brad Raffensperger in November. At the state capitol, Claire Sims, Fox 5 News.